there was a $25 billion loan program that Congress approved to fund um, energy, the development of energy efficient vehicles, essentially to wean ourselves off, off, off oil. Um, and ironically, the, the big three then came to, to Washington and said, no, give us that money for our day-to-day -day operations building gas guzzlers, um, which is, is, is obviously a um, sort of a version of the intent. Um, and uh, unfortunately, with, with the job situation being, being the way it is, uh, Congress has acceded to that demand and is, my understanding, currently giving 15 of the 25 billion to, to, to the big three um, to fund their day-to-day -day operations, which I believe gets them to about February. Um, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's not even an exaggeration. Um, although the, the, the speaker, uh, Speaker Pelosi, has also said that as soon as uh, uh, the new administration uh, com comes in, they're going to replenish that fund. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be okay. But certainly, if you have the opportunity to, to express uh, to uh, anyone in, in DC or in the press uh, the importance of developing a clean energy vehicles, uh, please take the opportunity to do so. Um, and in the case of Tesla, um, you know, Tesla actually is not applying for any bailout funds, although some of the press have mistaken that. Uh, what, what Tesla has done is applied for funding to develop uh, lower cost mass market vehicles, and it's essentially the exact intent of the legislation. And um, so hopefully there's still some money left over to, do, to actually do that um, after the big three have, have taken what they, what, the, what they will take. Um, uh, so, uh, and, and t the, the Tesla Roadster, I think a lot of people are familiar with that. That's the two-seater sports car. Um, in fact, my, my car, which is production unit one, is, is parked outside. Um, if anyone's curious to see it, um, there's, uh, there's also a Tesla Sales and Service Center on Santa Monica Boulevard. So if you want to pop in and take a look at the car at that time, you're also welcome to do so. Um, and uh, we're, we're about to uh, deliver our 100th production Tesla next week. Um, and that's, uh, interestingly enough, uh, the, our 100th customer is Sam Perry. Um, if, if, if anybody watched the, the, uh, the, the when Obama won and, and Oprah was crying on some guy's shoulder, <laughs> <laughs> um, that same guy is our hundredth customer, so it's a bit like Zelig. I mean, he's sort of everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, he's, he's a really uh, great guy and um, lives in, in the Bay Area. He's going to take delivery of his car on Tuesday, so I'm going to hand him the keys personally and uh, thank him for being a customer. So. Um, and uh, you know, there's an important point about Tesla, which is whenever somebody buys the, the, the Tesla Roadster, even though it's a $100,000, $109,000 um, sports car and it's kind of a fancy sports car, it, every penny that Tesla uh, makes goes into development of lower cost mass market vehicles. So the company doesn't issue any dividends, nor will it ever. Uh, you know, my, my salary is minimum wage. Uh, you know, so I'm a volunteer, um, <laughs> basically. Um, so. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's just an important point because sometimes people think, well, gee, what's the point of making these, these expensive cars, which are sort of toys for rich people, how's that really helping the environment? The, the, the important point to bear in mind is that when you have new technology, it takes time to optimize that technology. If you think back to the early days of cell phones or laptops or, or pretty much anything new, it, it's expensive in the early days. Because um, the first job with a new technology is you've got to make it work. Uh, and, and you make it in small volume, you, you, you sell those cars. But if you, the, the, the critical point is that you can't get to the low cost cars unless you start with the expensive cars. Um, and and that's, that's a point that sometimes lies. If you want to see another young, awesome Elon Musk clip, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.